been a little while since I've been home, so I decided to uh, take a little trip, come down and see my new house. Yeah, it's always a great place to be. So I'm not sure if I filmed what's across from the little cabin here. And you know, I'm just joking. I don't own this house. This is, uh, this is national forest land and this is a hiker's cabin that's on a trail. So this trail runs several miles and this is just one of the places that they set for uh, hikers to stop and camp. It's really kind of cool. Uh, although the cabin is quite leaky, so you'd probably want to set up your tent if you're going to stay in there. But there's always some firewood. I don't know who provides the firewood, but every time I've been here, which has been several times, there's been firewood there. Uh, but obviously with it uh, having such a leaky roof, probably might not be the uh, driest, warmest place to stay. But for a yard like this, I think I would put up with it. If I had a tent, of course, which I don't. I should probably get a tent one of these days, maybe. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there's a little lake, and they call it Sink Lake, which is right out in the other direction uh, that the cabin faces. And um, I don't know why, but I'm always drawn to this little lake, even though it's not really a lake. Well, let me go down and show you. So this is just down from the little hiker's cabin. This is Sink Lake, although it doesn't look like a lake, but there is a little bit of water down there. And in all that kind of tall grass, that's all water. I did try to walk out there one time. It's a little bit wet. But I don't know why, I just really, really like this spot. That mountain up there. Last time I was here, it wasn't quite as rainy. But for some reason, I don't mind this area when it rains. I guess I kind of expect it. I'm always happy to do this little hike, even though it's not much of a hike. Well, the portion I take, it is a long trail, but uh, I'm not about to uh, do the steep part of it, at least not this time of year. I hope to do it when the weather's a little nicer. Hopefully next summer. Oddly though, as much as I've been up here, still have never seen an Ewok. It's very odd. This is always a great camp. This is such a great spot. And I'm surprised that I've been able to stay here so many times this year. But this may be the last time I'm able to come up here. The Forest Service Road up here is paved part of the way, but not all of the way. And it's a little bit bumpy of a ride. My van handles it fine uh, going slowly, but uh, if it starts to get snowy and icy, I probably wouldn't want to drive up this way. Although I did buy tire chains last winter, so I do have them. But I don't think I'd want to chance it. So this might be the last trip up here.
Well, while I am a little disappointed that the weather is changing now, and this may be my last trip this season up to my favorite area here, I do try to keep in mind that uh, this is a very easy trip for me to make. The Olympic National Forest is less than a two-hour drive from downtown Seattle, and so that's why I've been coming out here quite a bit this past summer. And really, with any luck, I may get another trip or two before the snow starts to fly. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. If not, well, there's always next season. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.